Hello, Brock. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, good. Um, your first two years at, at Texas with Coach Smart, how did your role change once Coach uh, Beard and the new staff came on a couple years ago? Uh, it, it changed in developing my game and putting uh, more time into my shot. Um, with the time I put into my shot, it's uh, carried over into games and it's helped, uh, helped the offense spread out and I've been able to shoot it better. Follow up, Thomas. Um, speaking of shooting, you know, when you go one of five against Tech, probably, um, you know, I think your most misses on the year. How do you shake that off? Do you get more shots up in practice or do you just kind of put that in the back of your mind and, and forget it? How do you approach that? Uh, my approach, um, Steph Curry went 0 for 13 once. He's the best shooter to ever do it. He's going to have bad days. I'm going to have bad days. And that's just what that was. <clears throat> Remind to use the raise hand function, please, to ask questions. Corey, go ahead, please, sir. What's going on, Brock? Uh, yeah, what's up, dude? Uh, I was just asking about uh, Joe Dumars. He came and talked to you. Well, he said the video talked in. What did you get from that conversation, and what did he kind of give to the team? Um, he, he provided a lot for the team, everything from how he approached the defense to his mindset and how to communicate with other teammates. I mean, it was just a gold mine of information coming from one of the all time greats. I could talk to you for 45 minutes about it, but the main thing would be the pride that he took on defense and the pride that Dennis Rodman took in his role. And uh, I, I also heard in the video that the Twitter account posted about talking about how everyone who was just successful in life went through failures, you know, and then coming off of a loss against tech, like, was that just the perfect message to kind of hear? Yeah, hundred um, percent. In this sport, and especially in life, you know, your life is going to be determined by how you handle uh, handle failure. And you know, we're coming off a loss, and we're getting better, and we're moving into this uh, next game. But we'll be better coming out on uh, Saturday. Mark Rosner, go ahead, please, sir. Sorry, had to unmute. Okay. Uh, Brock, there are some other games where you guys start slow where Rodney had pointed to turnovers. But uh, what in, in Lubbock, what do you think it was? Because it wasn't really turnovers. Um, we, we missed some open shots and then uh, some uh, defensive assignments that slipped up on us. Just the details uh, got us at the beginning of that game and uh, you know forced that uh, slow start. Follow up, Ross. Uh, yeah, could, who? Uh, somebody said it might have been, the way your shot has changed. Uh, this a smoother delivery. Who? Who did you? I know you work with somebody, but who? Who initially got together with you to change your uh, release? Casey Perrin. Um, he was uh, the past uh, Dobo. Um, here and he's now at Louisiana Lafayette and uh, he was the first one to really work and change the fundamentals within my shot. Thank you. League is nothing but a dream come true and uh, something that a lot of people don't know about, uh, you know, Austin kids playing at Texas is there's a little bit more pressure. Everyone knows that you're from Austin. Um, I would say that would be really the only one negative, but it's all about how you look at it. And I've embraced being the Austin kid ever since I stepped on campus. So I've loved every minute of it. And then uh, Roger. Yeah. Uh, hey, Brock, uh, you're on your second pass through some you've already played twice, but can you just kind of explain what a grinder? I mean, the nation talks about the big 12. You guys live it. Uh, I mean, tech, OU coming in great examples of, you look at the standings and you might really get yourself in trouble looking at the standings and thinking that might be indicative of what kind of team's coming in. Yeah, the Big 12 is the deepest, uh, deepest conference in the country with elite players on every team. And we've seen it, you know, in the Big 12 SEC challenge and all the way to our last game is that anyone could beat anyone. Um, just quality talent, coaches and players all throughout. How much of a grind is that? Is it is it? physically and, and mentally so difficult knowing 
you know, every night's going to be so such a battle. It it can be, it can be, but at this point, this is my fifth time going through it. So I've uh, just became callous to all of that and know what to expect and kind of grind through it. But um, it, it it does wear you down, but it's nothing that we're not built for. All right, I'm back. Travis, reset. Go ahead, please, sir. Hey, Brock, I actually wanted to ask you about your Westlake team from back in the day. And you look around the college landscape, four of you guys are having a lot of success at the highest level of the sport. And I kind of wanted to see if you had some stories about each of those guys, how you kind of mesh that talent together on one team, and then what it's like to watch Matt and Keontae and Will kind of have their individual success. Um, I mean, I could tell you stories about each and every one of those guys for a while, but being able to watch each of them have success has been a lot of fun. You know, I wish, uh, I wish Matt didn't go off against us in the garden. Uh, maybe he did that against someone else, but it was still fun playing against him. Will Baker, Nevada is doing well. And then Keontae Kennedy is doing his thing at Memphis to kind of grow up in those you know, formative years with those guys to see them go on and play at such a high level has been a lot of fun. Was it easy for you guys to play together? Obviously, you went to the state tournament in high school, but did the personalities kind of battle sometimes? Uh, I, I, not not in a bad way. There, there was competitive juices, you know. Um, in practice, it would get heated because – you know, we were all talented players and we were trying to win practice and that would be create some friction. But within games, we were able to move the ball and be, become a cohesive unit. Um, you know, didn't win the state championship like we would have liked to, but we put everything we had into it. Thanks. Mark Reisner, go ahead, please. Yeah, when, when you're playing against uh, Matt, does, uh, does he do any talking? Do you do any talking since you know him so well? Yeah, I do. We uh, we're talking about different moves, stuff that he's been doing since high school. And a, another Westlake kid that I, I know really well, KJ Adams, is another one that I at Kansas is one that I know really well and uh, has been a lot of fun to see grow and develop into a good player in year two. Also, are you? I don't know if you've addressed this before. Are you coming back next season? Uh, yes, sir. I'll be back at Texas next year. Thank you. Corey Mose, go ahead, please, sir. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we were just talking about how deep this conference is and stuff like that. And, you know, it's always hard to beat a team twice. You know, you just face Tech for the second time in Oklahoma. Uh, what do you see coming in with Oklahoma? And what's the difficulties of trying to get that second dub over them? Uh, they're a well-rounded team, good players, and they're well-coached. Uh, we're going to have to be more physical than we were on Monday night and have uh, – more attention to the details and that'll help us uh, get our second win over Oklahoma and, uh, you know, compete with a really good team coming in. Last one to Thomas Jones. Go ahead, please, sir. You're on mute, Thomas. All right. Sorry. Hey, Brock, since you said you're coming back next year, you might have a chance to break the all-time appearance record at Texas. I think A.J. Abrams Another local kid holds it with 144. How much of a point of pride would that be for you? Um, I haven't thought about it a lot. You know, appearance record, I'd like to – I truly, I haven't thought about it. That would be a nice record to have, but I'd rather go get a Big 12 conference championship, another tournament championship, than make a run, to be completely honest with you. Yeah. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Brock, thanks for your time. Taking, thank you for moderating there for a little bit due to my yeah. technology problems. Appreciate everybody's time today. Thank you. Hey, thanks, thanks, Scott. Thanks, Scott.